Today we're going to learn how to make this 3D mitten catching a snowflake art. Stay tuned to see what you need. For this project you will need blue construction paper, white printer paper, glue, I'm using silver glitter glue for this, crayons, scissors, and a pencil. Let's clear away our area and then we can get started. We're going to start with our mitten first. With your pencil, lightly draw the outline of a mitten with an arm coming out of it. I'm going to start with my arm. It's not going to be very wide and it's not going to be very long. Once you have a shape you like, then you can take your crayons and you can decorate the outside. For your arm, you can choose whatever color you like, except for white. Before you start adding your pattern, you're going to draw a little box just in the middle of your mitten. That's going to be covered up at the end by your snowflake. It's there to remind you that you don't need to add crayon to that part. Leaving it blank is going to help the glue stick better and make sure that your snowflake dries onto your mitten and not fall off. Let's get started with the decorating and then we'll start on our snowflake. There's my mitten all done. If you've seen any of my other videos, you may have noticed that I like to outline things. And so here I used my black crayon to outline my mitten and just clean up my edge pieces a little bit. Now that I have this done, I'm going to put away my crayons and move my mitten out of the way so that I can get started on my snowflake. I'm going to show you a trick to make a beautiful snowflake. Now, the snowflake that I'm going to make today doesn't need to be very big. If I wanted to make a larger snowflake, I could use almost this whole page, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it fits on my mitten better. The first thing I need to do is make a square. I like to do this by folding over one corner and then cutting out the shape. Now you can see I have a square. It's not perfectly square, but it's pretty close. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that it's nicely folded in a triangle. Then I'm going to fold it in a triangle again to make a smaller triangle. All of the folds that I'm going to do are going to help my snowflake be more ornate. I fold it over once and then I fold it over a second time. Because I'm gluing it down, I don't want anything to touch the center of my snowflake. Up here is where the thin edge of my paper is. 
there's little wings beyond it, but anything that goes above that isn't going to be on all the branches of my snowflake, so I'm going to cut it off. Now it looks like an ice cream cone, and from here, I'm going to start cutting my snowflake. When, when you do this, you want to make sure that you leave some of your folded edges together, because that's what's going to hold your snowflake together when you're done. If you're having trouble cutting your snowflake, you can ask an adult for help. The more folds in the paper, the harder it's going to be to cut, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. You may need to use adult scissors with supervision, or you may need to get them to cut out little bits for you. I'm going to clean up all the little bits around my area, then we can unfold our snowflake and see what it looks like. Here's my snowflake ready to go. I'm going to glue it to the center of my mitten, that little square that I didn't color in, and then I'm going to add some glitter glue to the outside. That's why I'm using glitter glue. If you only have regular glue, that's fine too. You could just glue it in and leave it the way that it is, or you could add your own glitter on top. Now that I've added the glue, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm done! I'd love to see your mitten creation. You can upload it to the Celebrations of Learning page on our Teams.